Okay, did you hear about? This is where we deal with square roots in various ways. The primary thing you need to remember is you can never leave a radical in the denominator. So, we already discovered that if you multiply a radical by itself, it's no longer a radical. We know that if you have a fraction, you can multiply any fraction by a big one, and it retains the same value. So in this situation, we can go through and multiply this by radical 3 over radical 3, excuse me, and wind up with 5 radical 3 over 3, and no longer do you have a radical in the denominator. The key to radicals, however, is simplification. So let's take one like k. So what we're going to do here is let's go ahead and multiply it by radical 45 over radical 45. Gentlemen, if you're going to keep talking, please leave. So what we're going to end up with is 9 radical 45 over 2 times 45. Now in order to simplify everything, it's very important we know the factors of 45. So let's factor 45. What goes into 45? How about 5? Goes in 9 times. Nine, 3 goes into 9. 3 goes into 3 once. All right? So what we can do, 9 is 3 times 3 radical 5 times 3 times 3. And in the denominator, we have 2 times 5 times 3 times 3. To simplify a square root, any time you have two of the same factor, they can get out of square root jail. They can. So these guys, if we have two square root threes, because square root three times square root three is one regular three. We've already discovered that, correct? Mm -hmm. So they can get out of square root jail. So we've got a big one here, a big one here, a big one here, and a big one here. This guy's going to come out, so we get three root five over 10. So k equals 3 root 5 over 10. So to simplify a square root, let's do one more. Let's do m without the conversations, please. So if we do, please leave. So now we have, and I'm going to move over here to do the math, root 10 over root 10. So the factors of 10, 2 goes into 10 5 times, 5 goes into 10. So the factors of 10 are 2 and 5. We have root 10 times root 10. So our denominator is 10, or 2 times 5. And our numerator is root 5 times root 10, which is 2 times 5. We have two fives, two root fives, so 5 can come out. Are we right? Yes. Okay, so we wind up with 5 root 2 over 5 times 2. Because we're multiplying factors, we can use the commutative property to change order. We have a big one here, so our answer is going to be root 2 over 2. So 
our answer is root 2 over 2. So factors work both with roots and with fractions, particularly when you put them all together.